Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Storytime with Mr. Hallow. This is a chance for us to gather together and me read a story to you. I am enjoying the daylights out of this. I probably will do it during the summer, even if nobody watches, because I enjoy reading, and I hope that you enjoy watching. So, that said, today I'm looking extra fuzzy. I'm starting to look... You'll probably definitely have to talk to your grandparents about this, but I'm starting to look like Grizzly Adams. Getting a little, uh, getting a little fuzzy. It's, it's crazy. Speaking of things that are getting crazy, today's story is crazy. It's entitled, If You Give a Pig a Pancake. That's right. It carries on like the moose muffin dilemma and the the, what was the last one we did? The mouse brownie conundrum. Pigs, pancakes, pandemonium. That's a fun word. Try to work that into your daily conversation today. Say, Mom, this place is pandemonium. Still by Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. All right. By the way, isn't that pig cute? He is so cute. All right. If you give a pig a pancake. By the way, you can see the sunlight shining through my window slats right up here on the forehead area. So, it's, the sun is starting to rise. All right. Let me take this off. He's getting away. If you give a pig a pancake... By the way, look, he's on the outside and he's got syrup. Isn't he cute? Now, if you give a pig a pancake, she'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. Excuse me one second. Sorry, I had to go close the drape. It was it was bothering me. All right. So you you gave her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky, so she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles. When you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber duck. Because who doesn't take a bath without a rubber duck? And if you know anything about story time with Mr. Hallam, you know that last sentence is going to lead to a song. From Sesame Street, the great Ernie once sang, Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. There you go. There's your Sesame Street reference of the day. I bet you didn't think I could find one and give a pig a pancake. <laughs> you don't know me very well. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under your bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with him. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bath time so much fun. Yeah. 
When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece, and she'll start dancing. I added sound effects. Then she'll want you to take her picture. So you'll have to get a camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see a tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. So you'll have to get some wood and a hammer and some nails. And when the tree house is finished, She'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for wallpaper and glue. When she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, She'll want a pancake to go with it. Oh, the pig pancake pandemonium. So easily distracted are these little critters. Critters? How country am I? But it always makes me giggle, though, because it reminds me of a, of a small child. You know, nothing like having a four-year-old in the house. I don't have a four-year-old, but I did at one point. And, and it was like, can we do this? And then if we started to do that, it would lead to something else. And then that something else would lead to something else. And then that would lead to something else. And that would lead to something else and something else and something else and something else. And, something else. and then finally, we get back to what we had started to do originally. Or it reminds me of when my wife tells me it's time to clean the house. And I voluntarily clean like my the, the room with all my books and I have to go through each book individually page by page and inspect those pages and make sure that each page is just perfect and then while I'm doing that I get distracted and have to go do it to my albums or uh, CDs or DVDs or that's right I'm old I still hold on to my stuff I'm not one of these new hip kids who can download everything on spot a germ or germify or whatever those things are so hmm. so what are you going to do today it's a beautiful day i hope you go outside and play hope you run around have some fun maybe you'll get a pancake out of the deal and if you get a pancake you're going to need syrup and if you have syrup it's going to make you sticky and you're going to have to take a bath and taking a bath means you need what robber ducky you're the one 
You make bad time so much fun. Ba -dum, ba -dum.